Okay, boys and girls, now that you've finished writing on the triple lines above, we are now going to play the mystery game for Frog Jump Capitals. Make sure you follow the directions. Mystery letter game for Frog Jump Capitals. Hello there. Let's review Frog Jump Capitals with Mr. Frog himself. Why are they called Frog Jump Capitals, Mr. Frog? You want to show them? Of course you do. Ready? Start in the starting corner. Make a big line down. Ribbit. And then you're going to change it into a different letter, right? You want to show them F for frog? Of course. Ready? Start in that starting corner. Make a big line down. Ribbit. Little line at the top, little line in the middle. F for frog. Now, I know you've been reviewing these in your handwriting book. So I think it's time to play the mystery letter game for Frog Jump Capitals. So you see some gray blocks with a starting corner at the top. Pick up your pencils, use a nice grip, right? Very important, says Mr. Frog. Put your pencil in the starting corner of that first gray block and listen to our directions. Okay, you want them to make that letter. Got it. Okay, you ready? Here you go. Start in the starting corner of that first gray block. Make a big line down. Ribbit. Now make a little line at the top and a little line in the middle and a little line at the bottom. What letter did you make? Of course, it was the capital E. Ready for another? Okay, got it. Ready? Put your pencil in the starting corner. Make a big line down. Ribbit. Now make a little curve to the middle. What letter did you make? Of course, it was the P. Excellent. Okay, this time, we're going to tell you the name of the letter. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Got it. Make a big line down. Ribbit. Now change it into the R. R for rabbit. Does your R look like that? Great. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Ready? Okay. Make a big line down. Ribbit. Change it into the N, N, N for nest. Did you remember that sliding line? Does it look like that? Now we know you have more grade blocks. So why don't you ask your teacher or another adult to complete the rest of that activity with you? Great job. Okay. So we are going to continue practicing and playing this game. And I am going to give you clues. So I'm going to give you a letter and you're going to write the letter. And sometimes I'm going to give you clues and you're going to write the letter based on the clue. So our first one. Big line down, frog jump up, finish, P. Good. Your P should look like this. Big line down, frog jump up, finish, P. Good. All right. Let's go to the next one. Big line down, frog jump up, finish, D. Okay, I hope it looks like that. Oh, I hope yours is a little better than mine. Okay, frog jump up, big line down. Oh, now we do the frog jump up. Little line across the top, little line across the middle, little line across the bottom. What letter did you write? 
If you said capital E, you are correct. Okay, let's start again. Big line down, frog jump up, finish R. Good job. All right. Big line down. Frog jump up. Finish. N. Good job. Okay. Big line down. Frog jump up. Finish. M. Good job. All right, now what you're going to do is your adult learner will give you letters for you to practice that you may need a little bit more help with. So follow their directions and if you have to erase and start over to make sure that your frog jump letters stay in the box and your lines are nice and neat and straight, they're going to tell you. And when you're done with this page on, for page nine, you will then take a picture and upload it onto your activities. Happy writing!